flashbacks. Hey guys, finally sleeps here. New event, flashbacks released today, today. And I wasn't live at the release because adult life sucks. Anyway, flashbacks released today. The event looks, I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna take a look at it because I've got, I've got mixed feelings about it. There's, there's some exciting parts. There's some meh stuff going on. There's a lot of really cool stuff and some stuff that I'm just kind of like, oh my God. There's much like we've seen in the last events. There's a lot available free to play. There's some tips. There's some stuff we haven't seen in a while, but the most exciting part of this whole thing is it's an event that we haven't seen for years, years. Years, people. Years. Multiple seasons. This is not new. This is an old event coming back. A rehash. It is a rebirth. It is a rebirth. God, that was gross. But that, that's what it is. It's a rebirth. Anyway, uh, before we get into it, before we run the numbers, make sure you like comment, subscribe, turn on notifications here. That way you never miss when things go live and uh, check out all the links, Twitch, Discord, the, you know, finally sleeps.com, all that stuff. All right, let's get into it because it is pretty damn interesting. Ultimate memories, flashbacks. Uh, the way this event works is it's, it's pretty simple. We've got seven different, is it seven chapters? Young, King, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maradona there is the last one, which pretty cool player. God damn, look at that hair. That is, it's, it looks like an Instagram filter. That is a lot of freaking hair. Uh, a titan of football, a deity in Naples and Argentina. His legend will live forever. Nice touch by EA. 124 pace, 133 shooting, event icon, 100 rated, he's possible. That's pretty cool. Now, 106 right mid over here, on the other hand, yeah, it's uh, you need about, what, 70 to 85,000 gems, depending upon luck and where you're at and which packs you buy in the, the store. But we'll let that go. Why would you want this right mid when you can grab from the reward path... Millie man, James Milner with 115 pace. Thank God they took the concrete out of his cleats. I mean, that's, we're still not talking a speedy right mid, but it's Milner. If you like him, you're going to love the card. Uh, if not, yeah, it's, it's not a very, it's not a very fast outside mid stats wise though. Uh, it's ball control, which, you know, it's got short passing. I like short passing from an outside mid, but I would rather have uh, better crossing stats than 130 on this. 124 curve, though, is pretty strong with 120 finishing. Uh, 119 acceleration is not bad. As far as a James Milner card goes, this is probably the best Milner card I've ever seen in game. I'm impressed. He will be in my squad before this is over, and we'll just deal with the ball control boost. Uh, high defensive work rate, high attack rate. You know why? Because it's James Milner, and he don't screw around. That's why we love him. The high attack rate, high defense rate. No special, no special traits though. Other than he's my favorite. Come on, that, he doesn't need any special traits. It's James Milner. All right, enough fanboy talk about James Milner. Let's take a look at the event. Okay, in the main tab, you have these seven players you can choose from. When you go to a player. You have a series of matches. There are eight matches that must be played to unlock the ability to claim the young milestone here. Young milestone. Not because of his age, but because of his thing. It's weird. The young milestone. The Joaquin milestone. Okay, so we, we understand it. Uh, you got to play all eight matches. Some of them have requirements. Uh, Milan doesn't have a requirement. Inter doesn't have a requirement. You go to Southampton, you have an have to have Aston Villa player in your squad, uh, two Premier League players, and then you get down towards the end. You need five Premier League players, four English players, one Aston Villa player, just to get that. But you unlock these. This 
requires uh, the requirements to unlock. You, you have to have this stuff in your squad to be able to do it. So that means that the value of players in the market are starting to go up a little bit. And every one of these players has matches like this. As they unlock, we'll start to see more stuff. So, you know, here in a few days when these things start to become available the in, in a week, when this is available, obviously the Porto players are going to go up a little bit. We've seen Porto players and stuff go up in value right now. That is the part. Remember I said at the very beginning there were parts of this whole thing where I was like, nah, and then there's parts where I'm like, yay. This is a yay because of all the, re the lineup requirements uh, are, are really doing a boost in the market. Here, we'll just take a look right now. This is just in the last, like you see this, the sales are still coming. This is, I've already claimed a lot here we are look uh just rodrigo's it, it's just going nuts it's just sales after sales just in masters i don't even know where we're at i've already claimed over 170 players sales since reset here we are three hours after reset and the sales are still coming through still claiming sales okay so back to flashbacks match requirements you're gonna have to buy some players to get that stuff each of these little matches that you're going to play require five energy. Now, the energy breakdown for this event is we started out with 18. Uh, they refresh on the hour. Every day, you're going to be able to watch one ad, not three. I know initially the, the breakdown that EA released today said that it were going to be three ads. There's not. There's only one. Don't get too upset over it it's a small change it doesn't really make that much of a difference there's coin pack offers that you can open these refresh weekly it is a three week event 21 days so you're going to be able to open up 21 different uh coin packs uh, are they necessary maybe depending upon what kind of rewards you want to get so we'll get into that here in a minute uh every time you play one of these matches this is an exciting part every time you play in a match you get 175 flashback points. The first time you play in a match, you get the flashback points plus gallery points, and they range in one to five, I think it is. I think some of these have more gallery points. Yeah, five towards the end. What is it? One here in the beginning. One. So depending on the difficulty of the match, you get another gallery point. Now, the gallery points get used here in the gallery game tab and this is something we've seen before this is a normal we've had it in like uh, lunar new year and a lot of the events it's where you've you know it's the the game you flip it over and you try to look for your reward these refresh every 24 hours today we got a hundred rated striker which isn't bad scottish premier scottish premier league defoe it's scottish premier league which is kind of exciting not bad 113 pace 130 shooting the problem is is i would never open these up on day one how many do we have eight 24 different things the best advice i can give you for this is to hold your gallery points and only see you know what these are see this is these are polaroid photos and if you're too young you're like i don't understand what these are what is a polaroid photo back in the day you had cameras that you didn't have to take to get developed because we didn't have digital cameras. We have Polaroid cameras and you took a picture and this thing flipped out and then you'd sit there and you shake a shit out of it. And then you'd look and you'd be like, yep, there's a photo of a giant turd in the toilet because that's what everybody used Polaroid cameras for was when you had a giant, huge, you take a dump and you're like, I'm sending this picture to Guinness Book of World Records. That's what we took Polaroid pictures of. And apparently took pictures of stuff that we could use here for the game way off topic, but we're saying it anyway. Uh, and if any of these flip over and there's a giant turd, I will be pretty excited. Anyway, you wait till you have 24 points so that you're guaranteed to get what it is. And then once you have those points, then you can start opening it up when there are rewards worth grabbing. Just be smart. This is something we've done over and over in other events. Just don't waste your points. If you only have like eight gallery points to be able to use, you're likely going to piss away those eight. Save them until you have enough to open it up and then hoard them until there's days when stuff pops up like uh, in you know decent players like this 100 rated. Uh, we may see um, flashback points. There will be other stuff that pop up in here that is going to be worth more to you than just pissing away your gallery points. So just pay attention to that. Now, there are also milestones here. 
Now, you remember, once you use 10 of these things, you're going to gain 50 flashback points. Those are important. We're going to bring those in and, and figure them up. There's also uh, a 102 rated Noble for 100, 450 gallery points and uh, some legendary tokens. We're going to take a look here and add the numbers up to see what it is as far as how many we're going to get before it's all said and done. At the start of every day, you get you get three gallery points, I believe it is. Three when you log in each day. So there's 63. How many do we need? Spend gallery points. So 63 just from the daily logins. You're going to be able to get to there. We're going to earn a ton when we play those games. So we'll, we'll look at the numbers here before we're done. Now, this is the reward path. This is where all the flashback points get used. Um, you're going to work your way down the path. And any of these sub paths, there are coins and XP. No boost. Unfortunately, no boost. But this is where your main players are. These are the non-flashback main players. Uh, they, they don't have a year under them. These are newer existing players that may have had started out in a different position. Like Milner was in a right mid at way back in his career, but they still, they don't have him where he played right mid. They have him in his, in his current squad. I mean, he hasn't played right mid for, uh, Liverpool at all. And then you have your big daddy's choose choice at the end. 104 Fabregas and PK. Those are the big ones. So we'll look at the numbers here and just figure out what's possible. So now the easiest way to do this is let's just run the numbers and see where we're at. Uh, energy wise, we start out with 18 energy when the event began. It said 21 in the event, in the event guide, but it's actually 18. You get one ad per day, not three. Uh, that's 105 energy over total. Coin pack seven per week. That's another 105 energy. Hourly refresh, 21, uh, because there's 21 days, 24 per day, minus one because you can't refresh that last hour. It's 503. It's a total energy of 731. Now, as far as the matches go, each are take five energy. That means you can play 146 matches as a grand total. Every time you play a match, you get 175 flashback points. That's a grand total of 25,550 from playing matches. Gallery points milestone, that one we just talked about from opening gallery or using gallery points, you're going to get 50 flashback points there. That is a grand total of 25,600 flashback points. Now, anytime you play a match and you lose, you get the energy back so you can keep replaying the matches. The only thing you're going to miss out on is the gallery points when you replay because there's only eight matches per player. There's seven players. That's 56 matches, eight times 56, eight times seven, 56, 56 matches. And we're going to play 146. That means you're going to replay 90 matches just to get the flashback points. You're going to replay 90 matches to get the flashback points. Just, just so you're aware, you're going to replay 90 matches more than once to get all those flashback points for a grand total of 25,600 flash points. So now the rewards, if you want to get to a 99 right here, either of those 99, it is going to take a total of 10,300 flashback points to get you one. If you want to take the second one, it's 13,200. My best piece of advice is skip over them Let's just go straight for the 103s. If not because you want the player, but because they are already pre-ranked with a 12. That is higher than most people have in their main squad. Even if you don't want the player, transfer the rank off, sell the player. 24,900 gets you a 103. They are 100% free to play. Just go straight to a 103. That is the easiest way to go. You're going to end up with a player. In my case, my favorite Millie, right mid, coming in, no concrete in his cleats, triple digit pace, very excited. James Milner, right mid, coming in, free to play. If you want to go for resources, now here's here's the here's another part of this where I'm just like, meh. If you want resources, the only way you can get to is this one. If you go straight to 23, instead of claiming Milner or... Uh, who is it? Monreal. If, if you go straight to resources, you can only claim one more. 
you're going to be shy of the epic. You can get to the epic if you get lucky and you use the gallery to pick up some of the missing points, but you're going to be missing 500 flashback points if you maximize this event. You're 500 short of the epic. So are the epic worth it to you over the 103 and the 12 rank? It depends. I mean, you're going to use epic points to get a 10 rank player up to 12. So it's it's really not that much of a difference because to to go up those ranks, you're using epic points. So instead of it really being 30 points, you're really only gaining 20 points minus the coins of transferring the point. I'm just saying, for me, it's better off to go for a 103 than it is to just go for the epic points. Uh, I may regret those that decision down the road. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. All right, so let's go back and take a look at how many gallery points we're going to receive. So if you get the three every day in the daily login, we have the daily login gets you three. So that's uh, 66 or 63. 63, is that right? 63 over the course of the event. Each of these gives you one, two, four, six, nine, 12, 16, 21. So if they're all the same and it's, I'm assuming they're going to be 21 times seven, it's 147. And it looks like they're all the same, no matter which one it is. This will be one that has more and no, it's the same thing. So 60, 63, let's see how far are you gonna be able to get? What did we just say? One, they're the same, two, four, six, Nine, 12, 16, and 21 times 7, 147, plus 63, so 150, 210 gallery points over the course of the event. 210 gallery points to use, which means you're going to make your way to the 500,000 coins, unless you pick up a bunch of gallery points, either through the gallery, because we should could see the rewards here, through the gallery, or you open them up with, uh, you you use gems to open up. It's uh, 1,000 gems for four points. That's a lot of coins to get you to the legendary points. Don't see it happening unless you're buying stuff in the store. That's that's the, the, the one, the kind of the thick of the whole thing. That's flashbacks in a nutshell now there are a couple of things that i do want to point out obviously the market has had a big boom bump you're seeing all the sales um there's probably 150 mil sitting in my inbox that i just haven't claimed in the last couple of hours that's a big positive because we're seeing a bump in the master market the one drawback there's no sbcs we don't have any sbcs it's not a boost rich event we, we're not seeing all the boosts that we've seen in a lot of the, the recent events. There isn't one positive. We don't have a ton of players getting dumped into the market. At best, we have uh, one player popping up every day in the gallery. Um, you can claim some players along the way. Um, you know, that's that's about it. That's I mean, that's as best that you're going to do. So that's a that's a big positive for the market. It's three weeks long. Because there are so many grindable things in this event as far as replaying these matches over and over again, there's a, a big positive there. All of these flashback players, if you're not going after Milner like uh, I am, you have to use your flashback points here for these players. Some of these, if, if one of these is your focus, you know, you can grab a lot more here than you can along the way. You're going to have... Uh, what did we say? How many points? 25,600. So you could, in essence, grab Young, Joaquin, you're at 21, 17, uh, 10,000, 
and Rakitic. Or you grab Buffon and Maradano. It's th those points there. It's going to take your opportunity away from grabbing resources and the players down the event path, but it's a complete other option for you guys. Uh, the pre ranks on these things, like Rakitic already has a 12, it's only going to cost you 10,000 as compared to 25,000 for the 103. Buffon has is a 13 rank goalkeeper, which is a huge deal. A lot of people are going to grab Buffon just because of his 13 rank. And he's a 103 goalkeeper. These are all auctionable. There's nothing about these that we can't sell. That is a great opportunity. I mean, you can grab Buffon and Rakitic and come away with a 12 rank and a 13 rank. And then just buy the 103 that you want in the market. Now that I'm saying it out loud, that's probably what I'll end up doing. That's probably a better decision to just grab the two of these. I don't know. You, you need to look at the resources, make your own decision. But that is a, a that is, com ooh, that might even be a much smarter way to go. Because if you look at the path down the reward path, it's, it's resources and coins. We got XP, there's some boost, 500,000, some players, more boost. Do we have any shards in here? Here's 50 shards and a logo, a million, 60 common or a thousand boost. Rare, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not too excited about everything that we're seeing. Two elites, XP, there's 20 epic. So 20 epic versus a 13 rank goalkeeper and a 12 rank player that you can sell and then buy the 103 that you want. Who it's a 50 50. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I think, I, oh man, I don't know. It's uh, I'll have to think about that one. Well, I have to think about that. Which one's the better way to go. It's up to you. All right. That's flashbacks in a nutshell. Thanks for hanging out. Ooh, I forgot. Guess what? EA is sponsoring another giveaway. So I will be giving away either PK or Fabregas. That's the choice. PK or Fabregas. It'll be this weekend, most likely a Sunday stream. We're going to do it a little bit later. We're going to let everybody else get their, their giveaways done. Sunday. Sunday. Close to reset, giving away either a Fabregas or a PK. It's the winner's choice. Live on Twitch. Make sure you're following along on Twitch. Uh, follow along. Finally sleeps over on Twitter so that you see the posts. Follow it, Twitch. You'll get notifications. If not, as long as you subscribe at YouTube, I'll post in the community channel when we go live so you won't miss out on the opportunity for the giveaway. See, I almost forgot. That's like one of the biggest deals with the whole thing. You know what it is, is I just got so damn excited about right mid Milner that my brain just, it was like sugar in the gas tank. Like James Milner, I don't know what else to do. Yeah. And then the Polaroid picture is a poop. I don't know. My brain's all over the place today. A lot of brain vomit coming out. All right. Thanks for hanging out. I think that's where we're going to end it. Uh, make sure you follow along. Check out the discord servers. They're right there. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, ooh. Discord.finallysleeps.com, Foot Mobile Twitch Discord, where you can find all the streamers. Uh, basically, me and Ruben and everybody else that's involved. And then the other one, Invite FM, that is the big Reddit Foot Mobile Discord server where the majority of the community hangs out. Make sure you follow along. Thanks for hanging out with me. As long as you guys keep watching, I'll keep making videos.